Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Before we get started in today's Dr. D Dozen video, let's talk about Rose Forever. Now this company was launched in 2019 under New York. They're a smaller company and they watch the channel and they like my stuff. So I said, you know what? Give me some roses. Let me talk about it. They are amazing, luxurious boxes. Sweet little logo there. And if you look up, check this out. Whoa, holy smokes. Like, can you see how amazing that is? Now they're called Rose Forever because they last possibly forever. It smells amazing if you like the smell of roses, okay? It's incredible. They're handcrafted by professional flower artisans, which is, I mean, that's a big deal, okay? It's like flower chefs. All the materials they use are vegan. Even the stuff they use to cover the boxes are vegan if that's something that interests you. And the coolest thing about these is that they are preserved and you can get many, many, many colors and they preserve for up to a year, if not longer, if you take care of them. Yes, I said a year. They come in really cool colors like violet, black, royal blue, red, just gorgeous. And there's so many more colors and many box shapes as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. And I asked them, I said, can you tell me why they last forever? Cause they come with a little sheet that says, here's how you take care of them. If they get a little dusty, here's how you can fix them. Like how do they last for over a year and maybe some cases longer? They use the preserved oil that goes on top of the flowers that makes them last as long. As long as you don't touch them with your stinky hands, they will last a lot longer. So it's a really, really great gift. You can get your sweetheart or your, anyway, I mean, dudes like flowers too. You know, they have black roses, that's pretty cool. Maybe it's something he needs to put in his office, but they can be on display for everybody to see and they smell incredible, I'm not joking. Wow, they sm like as soon as you open the box, it smells like fresh, it smells like fresh roses. It's just incredible. So as you know, Valentine's Day is coming up really soon. And because they're sponsoring this video, you guys get a sweet deal. You head to roseforever.com, use code DCP40 and get 40% off your bouquet. I mean, that's a really good deal. Valentine's Day is coming up. Maybe your husband needs a hint. Tell him to watch this part of the video. There's also a free shipping discount called Influencer. So use those codes in conjunction. You get free shipping and you're 40% off. You can't beat it. Valentine's Day is coming up. Do something special for some of your life. Maybe your mom needs one of these, okay? Maybe your dad needs one of these. Maybe your boss needs one of these. Maybe you need one of these. Because they look good and they display amazingly. People can be like, whoa, that's crazy. Those look incredible. And then they smell like, oh my gosh. So head over to roseforever.com, use my codes, get your deal today. Thank you, Rose Forever, for sponsoring this video. My wife absolutely loves these, and I told her I bought them, so it's awesome. Let's get to the video. So if you're new, the Dr. D Dozen is a channel on the internet that exploits her children for many, many, many piles of cash. Last year, she spent $924,000 on things instead of, you know, getting a bigger house for her 11 children that she could have bought with cash. And a lot of people were like, holy, she spent all the money. She couldn't, you know, she could have bought a house. That's all she spent, everybody. It's not what she made. She probably made double that or if more, like she was at her peak the beginning of last year, it's already starting to come down, obviously this year, but she's at her peak and we, are, we are keeping a tally of what she's spending this year too, already as we go. Again, I wanna thank my Beavers unit, one of my oldest mods, she's incredible. She keeps sending me some great stuff. Um, she still won't let me send her, even her husband over dinner. Guys, just convince her. Let me just send you the Olive Garden or something, Cracker Barrel. I know it's not like Red Lobster, I don't know, let's go crazy. You tell me where you wanna go and I will send you there for dinner because you guys deserve it. So um, that video I thought was one of the most important videos on this channel and it's crazy because the videos I think are gonna hit, they just like, eh, okay. But the ones who I, that I'm like, these videos suck. They're like, oh yeah, it's the gangbusters. Like, start watching the important ones. Anyway, but we, these ones are important because we snark and we snark to, to raise awareness to child exploitation. We snark on people who deserve it. Now, a lot of my haters will be like, oh my gosh, she's a misogynist. <laughs> he only hates on young mom. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. How does that feel to be that dumb? I know my Reddit friend's gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe he said this. <laughs> you guys are stupid, okay? Because all I have to say is this. Who are the people that I make fun of? Who are they? Tell me who they are, right? They are child exploiters. And after what we saw yesterday at the Senate hearing, this stuff is not going away. It's getting crazy and people are taking advantage of it. And it eventually is going to be outlawed. And I can't wait for the day we'll buy a cake, we'll get some roses, we'll celebrate. Okay, but until that day, we're gonna snark. We're petty with a purpose here at DCP, okay? And so that's what we do. If you don't like making fun of people, don't watch it. 
but we do. And you do too. We all like making fun of people. Even my haters love it. My haters are like, oh my gosh, can't believe this fat, disgusting, bald bastard makes fun of people and their looks. Like, why would he do that? This disgusting d d basement dwelling troll loser with zits. What a loser fat guy. And they're like, okay, it's, <laughs> the irony is amazing. And I love it. And so thank you. I think I'm probably one of the only creators who absolutely adores my hate thread because it's it's just it's it's hilarious and I laugh. Some people have some good roasts. Maybe one day I'll read you the roasts. But anyway, all that to say, well, let's go to the uh, Dockery Dozens uh, channel, and I want to show you these cringe. Ooh, the cringe! I'm like I'm picturing her hand movements, and I it's it's like a sleep paralysis demon. And now you have to see it because I saw it. And there's another video we're gonna look at too. That's her throwing an, some more shaded N. I wonder if she deleted it by now. It's on the Reddit thread anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I have to change the music obviously because I'm gonna get struck. So I like to put clown music in there. So that's kind of fun. Oh, it's like uh, the trendy videos that she does. Like Alicia is probably one of the most cringy creators I've ever seen and is completely unaware of it. That's what makes it worse. Like, or she is aware of it and that also makes it worse. Does it make sense? I'm gonna change the pitch of the song, but here, here's, here's. I guess this is a dance everybody's doing, and they have to learn it together. Alex, seventeen, mom, forty-three, and there's the dog and uh, the dirty floors. But let's let's watch this together and absorb it into our brains, sear it into your nightmares. <laughs> it's this move here. Like she, pop, pop that spin, pop, pop it. Oh my gosh, the, you're so white. <laughs> bah! It's like she's punching the dog next to her. Look at the dog, looking at her zoom in tight. Look at the dog. Even the dog's like, oh my gosh, I need new owners. Stat. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like they're in a competition who's going to be the cringiest people on earth. And they're winning. Like there's a prize for the most cringe. They're like, let's take this number. We're taking it to the top. Oh, the, it's the, I love the, at the end, the guitar movement. Who plays the guitar like this? Let's try. Yeah, I guess it works. I guess. Freaking the craziest thing you've ever seen in your life. And she's done some cringy dances. Oh. Just... Zoom in on the hands. Can <laughs> she mad? She's doing it to it. Her face is like, what is this? Okay, I'm uh, sorry. No more. Spare me, please. Send the asteroid. Yea, though we walk through the valley of Alicia Doherty, we will just bleach our eyes after that. Then she didn't put it on YouTube. She put it on TikTok. So let's go over there. But I'm blocked. She always blocks people. It's okay. It's her prerogative. So this is called when you kick someone out of the Life 360 store. You know, she's sponsored by Life 360. She gets paid a lot of money by Life 360. To I can't believe they still sponsor her. It's crazy. But... What she's doing here is when you kick someone of the Life360 circle, that's a family member that they're kicking out. And you know that family member is, is N, okay? And the fact that she made Deshaun do it in this video, like they're all kissing her goodbye. And these kids don't even, I bet you they don't even know what they're doing in this video. They don't know that they're throwing shade at their sister or anything like that. They just all sitting there do that. This is actually the most, one of the most disgusting things she has ever done. And she has done a laundry list of disgusting things. But like, they all, they all say, Mwah, and then they walk away. Blocked. So she's got beef with N for some reason. Okay, whatever. But why would you bring your kids into this? Like, why are you bringing your children into this? Especially her brother. This is, I think, I, I would consider this parental alienation. I think she wants to create a chasm between Deshaun and, and N. I think she really does. And, and she's doing it through content. Alicia is the clapback queen. For all the people that she used to be friends with, and I know a lot of them, 
okay? She does these videos on purpose because she's clapping back at somebody. And in this case, it's N. And why, what was the point of doing this? With no context. In, the, in front of the disgusting food that they're not going to eat. But why do this? The, the food is ready. It's probably freezing. And yet, let's line up and do this 15 times before we eat, even eat our hot meal. Because these kids have never had a hot meal in their life in this house. Like, she forces them to literally perform before they eat dinner. She's disgusting. And then what they do when they perform, do they know that they're all throwing shade at N in this situation? Do they know that? Is she creating enemies? Is she making sure like, oh, you guys don't talk about her. Make sure you, you know she's the enemy. Like, that's disgusting, right? This is disgusting. You're so cool, Asha. I wish I was as cool as you. No, I don't. Some of them look confused. It's adorable. Why were they confused, Brianna? Because they are confused about what they're doing. Someone says, who? They don't know. I am. An, and then auntie creepy weirdo Lauren from Australia says, I'm in one circle. If she's in a life 360 circle with Dr. E doesn't, she's not family. She's a creeper on the internet they've never met before. That's creepy. Have you ever seen auntie Lauren? She's also a sleep paralysis demon. But here's why I hate about TikTok. They don't get called out on here because obviously she deletes the comments. But people should be like, what are you saying right now? What is happening? Why are you saying this about N? I don't get it. Look at how much Alex gets bullied, by the way. You got so many of these accounts that she will not block. See, she'll block someone who makes a, a, a snide comment about her, but she won't block accounts like this. Snackity board lover. She won't make, she won't block this account. Isn't that weird? It's, it's very telling. Anyway, let's get to this video where she's shopping and buys 33 pounds. 33 pounds of chocolate for her kids. Let's get to it. Hey everybody! Welcome coffee! But first, coffee. Well, we know it's not white clock, because it's in the clear cup. Here's our dinner menu for this week that we made together as a family. Then I added in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch. No, your family is not around. She keeps lying with us, by the way. She'll like, maybe one kid she'll ask, but they don't even go here. They're all off playing video games all the whole time. Lunch every day so I could make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. We are at Walmart today. This should be a quick one. Wegmans is kind of on the out with her. What's going on? It could be a budgetary thing. Could be that she's losing money because she's absolutely losing money. And don't forget, she has to like uh, give this creepy uh, ex-con manager uh, probably a large percentage of their money, like 20%. Something like that. I bet you it's something like that. And don't forget that she signed her kids onto lifetime contracts of content until they're 18. Right? That's from what we know. So her kids, any money they make, they have to give this guy in perpetuity of the content during the time made in that contract. He gets it for the life. So when they want to get out of that contract, fine. But any content they made before that, he still gets a percentage of it. Like this is a, the, <laughs> Sun and Sky Entertainment. They took these people for a ride and she signed it because she's stupid. She thought signing on with them was going to get them a deal in TV and all this kind of stuff never panned out because who the hell would watch this? Even TLC's like, nah, this is garbage. So, you know, I just want, I need to point that out that she's likely losing a bunch of cash because her video view counts are way, way down. Remember, like, I mean, we, we do this once in a while and we should continue to do it. But remember back in the day, if you go to her most popular videos, 2.5 million views one year ago, Family of 14 grocery, grocery haul. If you go up to her oldest videos, which is three years ago, she wasn't getting very much. And if you go about two years ago f to her peak, man, she's deleted a lot of videos. Or she doesn't delete them, she unlists them. Going from 166,000, 345,000 views. See, here's how you tell. You go for the, the morning routines, which are their lowest videos. About a year ago, they're doing 100, more than 10, more than two years ago, 630,000 views, 380,000 views. Uh, 71,000 for folding laundry. If she does a folding laundry video now, it gets like 10,000 views. Okay, latest views when she makes breakfast now, look, 20,000 views. Even her shopping hall views used to get 600,000. Now they're getting 80,000. She is bleeding, hemorrhaging money and she still has to give Buddy his percentage. Like she gets a, t she has a ton of content on here. And so she gets money from the back content watch in the catalog, but he still gets a cut of that. Fun, uh, hopefully it's like 121. I know this is an odd time for me to come grocery shopping, but here we are. It was Bree's birthday weekend. So we're just kind of like cramming everything in. Uh -huh. Last minute, so let's go. It's a rainy and dreary day. I hate this voice. 
all my heart when she does the oh my god i just want to you know you know what i mean you just want to like just want to like have a nap just forget the world for a while having some flooding around here nothing made it's a puddle it's not a flood here but Kurtwin! Kurtwin! <laughs> yeah. Well, it's raining, okay. okay. They'll be wet. Hey, this one's not kind of broken. That's kind of nice. It's down here. Oh, here's some stuff not on my list. Wet though. Wet. And I almost grabbed my clipboard too. You're a clipboard. <laughs> Small bird. Now I know. That was my natural consequence for not grabbing my clipboard. Is it a wet cart? You're a wet cart. Medium burn. Purse tissues to the rescue. You're a purse tissue. <laughs> I said it. Burn. Well, she didn't buy them. She stole that from the shelf. Um, and now we're just going to have, like, Christmas travel tissues for the rest of the year. <laughs> okay, forehead, let's go. Really? This is the first... You're going to do this for every cart. Just do it digitally. All right, let's start with the cleaning stuff. I mean... Why is it always Comic Sans? <laughs> Foil. I'm gonna look for some the comic sans is just <laughs> it's the cherry on top of the trash you know it's like is that a big pile of trash some diapers in there coffee grinds it's definitely some garbage juice but there's a cherry on it and it's comic sans like <laughs> it's so indicative of who she is it's just it's actually it's fitting you know Soup like her thumb <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Okay, I don't care about the stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get to the stuff. The heck? I just bought one of those too. I swear to God, I just bought one of those because I want to make my pancakes look like that. Because my outside griddle is great for meat, for smash burgers, for like, like making big meals. But like it sucks at pancakes. Cast iron sucks for pancakes. So this one is like perfect for pancakes. Okay, well you're gonna make, so that makes what, four pancakes and you have 5,000 people eating? So that's not gonna work. This one's good. It's not good, not big enough. Oh my gosh. Right? You like this? Why didn't you cut the walking out? Just turn the camera off till you get to the thing that you're gonna buy. Turn it on. Please. For all of our sanities. She's so, she walks so slow. Oh, if I got stuck behind her at Christmas time or something, I'd be like, oh my God, they hurry up. There it is, there it is. Look at <laughs> Just watched Wonka with wifey last night. Again, go watch Wonka. That's the Oompa Loompa. That's the that's the thumb. If it, if the thumb could be an Oompa Loompa. Something like this, maybe. Oh my God! It just how does it? Why are her other nails so thick? Too, is that normal? I mean. Oh, oh stop like showing it! Brand, right? I don't know. I wanted to say leak proof. You don't think a thermos is leak proof? Dumbass. Okay. What? That is leak. It's a thermos. Just keep looking for a minute. What an idiot. Well, you're going the wrong way now. Well, that was fun. Let's keep going. Yeah. Why would it? It's double vacuum sealed and it's got a lid and a lid. It's not going to leak. Your thumb 
is a curse. Okay, I mean, it's... I don't know what happened in your lineage a few thousand years ago, a few hundred years ago. I don't know if someone, like, pissed off a witch somewhere and they cursed you down the line. May all of your ancestors have the most ugliest thumbs that ever existed, but I think you should go to an exorcist and just figure it out. That's my suggestion. You don't have to do it. I'm just saying. My help yeah. for your future generations. You guys can recommend a good soup. Those are it. That's it. Container. That is not going to leak. That's not going to leak. That would be awesome. Holy, let's keep looking at the bottles, though. And don't forget, she already went to the dollar store to buy a million things of Valentine's candy. Like, a million. Valentine's shopping for my family of 38. And she, like, Valentine's Day is in two weeks. So, stop early Valentine shopping. Again, she always does this. She always like two weeks early for like something that everybody gets. But like, if it's your birthday, I'm shopping the day of. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Here's where everybody gets yeah, really mad. To the giant Hershey bar. Okay, so first of all, one will do for the entire family. One is great. Put it out on the table. Everybody, I'm just gonna get sick though. They'll touch it. Okay, so I got sick. I was barfing. I'm still sick to this day. It took me like it's. It was a 24 hour blood bug. I barfed so hard that like I literally almost died. Okay, it was. I am a terrible violent barfer. Like ugh, my eyes are popping out of my head. Westy's a good barfer. Like he's just like eh, go to sleep. Doesn't cry. Doesn't bother him. He's like yeah, I'm done. So Westy and I both got sick. Kathy's parents came over for a visit. And her dad sat on the couch that I sat on, and he got sick, but just a little sick. And she thinks it's the che the cheesies. We had a bowl of cheesies up for Wesley's birthday, okay? And there was 15 kids in this house. And I finished off the bowl after everybody gone. Like an absolute donut. Here's the deal. If there's 15 kids in your house, just throw everything out or burn it, okay? When they're done. Don't eat it. Because I ate the cheesies, Wesley ate the cheesies. No one else ate the cheesies, but her dad sat on the couch where I ate the cheesies. So it might have been Cheeto dust floating around here and there. And he only got a little bit sick. So we think Ground Zero was the cheesies. So moral of the story, uh, kids are disgusting. But maybe just break it into 11 pieces. That's, what is that, three pounds of chocolate? That's a lot. You know what? Since you don't, they don't need it. This, I'm just gonna get it for them for Valentine's Day. You are such an a-hole for this. People, and she, again, she, she knows what she's doing. She knows it's going to get her tons of comments about how she only feeds her kids garbage. And she likes to feed that. Like, she's like, she's somehow proud of that. It's never occurred to her to change this, what she does about this. But the most hated thing that Illish just hated for is not the exploitation. It should be, but it's not. It's the actual, what she feeds her children who, who absolutely shouldn't be eating this stuff. And it's like every single day of their lives. She's creating kids dependent on sugar. Like, and not just like, a little bit like fully dependent on only garbage food for the rest of their lives. She's setting them up for massive amounts of failure for their entire lives. And now they need each three pounds of chocolate. That is insanity to me. Teach your kids to share. And look at her face. We go, we got 33 pounds of chocolate in our house. Like does Josh never say anything? Did you just buy 30 pounds of chocolate? Is that what you just bought? Like, he doesn't see... This guy's an athletic coach. Are, are the... Like, are the foster agencies stuff like, you know, we're not going to bring any more kids over here. Because it's just, they leave your house with diabetes. And it's more expensive on the healthcare. Like, oh my gosh! You are... That's... And someone pointed out, it was like, they're 20 bucks a piece. So she's paying, paying 11. So she's buying, like, 200... With tax, probably like $250 worth of chocolate. Just, and that's just one part of the, and she already shopped for Valentine's Day, bought a ton of candy already, and this is extra more, because they, oh, they all wanted one. So, who cares if they all wanted one? Do you, if your kids want tattoos, you can let them get that? You're a dinkhole. And she just takes them all, too. Like, no one ever thinks, okay, what about the person who wants one after? Nope, I'm taking them all. F everybody else. Holy shit. Wouldn't it be easier just to keep them in the box they came in? She's literally cleaning out the entire thing. F everybody else who wants one. 
unfreaking believable. When she checks this out, I hope she's judged by the checkout. Like, because everybody knows who she is, where she's from. You're going to feed each one of your kids, even the one that's like two foot 11, a three pound chocolate bar. Your little child, your toddler is going to get a three pound chocolate bar. That sounds super healthy. At least there's dairy in it. I guess it's some calcium. 10 11. Just oh. checking. I got oh. the rest of their Valentine's goodies at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, we know. Anyway, she bought a lot. Like hundreds of dollars worth of candy. There is any different video. Me, 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 me. So you just said I bought the rest of their Valentine's candy at the Dollar Tree. And now she's going to go buy some more. I just want to get some candy. What do you mean, Candy? Look in your cart there. Hey, Alicia, quick, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. I don't know if you just remembered that you just put 33 pounds of chocolate in your cart. But do you need more? Do you need more? Oh, but you went to the dollar store and bought $250 worth of candy. Oh, you need more candy. My bad. Silly. I'm just a silly peckerwood jackass. Oh my gosh. Oh. I, I would love to get a do like a child doctor, you call those children doctors, uh, whatever they're called, opinion on this, like a child dietary detition. <laughs> I would love to get their opinion on just, just pick three random shopping videos and just sit down with me and be like, oh my gosh, and see the horror on their face. The horror. And then show them the video where she's like, okay, most of my kids have food aversions to like sugar and uh, red dye and everything but I'm going to force feed it to them for the rest of their lives. Cheers. You don't need more candy. Walk away from the aisle right now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You butt crack. That she's already bought the rest of it. And now there's more coming. The thing is, Alicia doesn't eat this stuff, right? You know that. She survives on coffee and White Claw. So I would love for Alicia to eat what her kids eat in a week. She would probably die. I'm not kidding. She would die. Is her chicken still alive? Someone check on the chickens. Okay, that's enough. No more. Okay, keep going now. You, this stuff is plenty, <laughs> plenty you got. We're all set for the next 16 years of for the candy. Three pounds of chocolate a piece. I spent two hundred dollars at the Dollar Tree. Oh, oh, we need some more stuff. Oh, there's more. Get some more. Put some more in the cart. I'm just breaking my heart. The the amount of shit that she buys for kids. It's unfreaking believable. Like how they got all this candy with workout stuff. <laughs> <laughs> F the workout stuff. They're trying to show you something, Alicia. They're trying to hint to you. Don't do it. Don't do this to your kids. She should be barred from grocery stores. They should be like, hey, there should be a picture. Be like, don't let this woman shop here. And only she's only allowed in the vegetable department. What? It makes no sense. Well, you know what makes no sense is feeding this to your children. Like, everybody's like, well, on special occasions, Halloween, cool, let's kids, on Halloween, we let our kids go gangbusters and candy. Go for it. Everybody does. But, you know, Christmas comes up, you eat a little bit, you know, get some cookies and stuff. That's like, you know, months in between. And then, you know, Valentine's Day, we don't, there's nothing like this at our house. Like, there's no. The kids might bring home a little chocolate from, like, the, the Valentine's at their desk and stuff, but we don't buy anything. Easter. Lots of chocolate, for sure. We get that. But we're more on the gift side in Easter now. We don't need our kids to have a ton of chocolate. So we get them something cool. We go do something fun. I think Everly wants, like, roller skates or something. So we do something different. We do something a little bit more expensive. But it's instead of, in lieu of buying 15 million bars of chocolate and Easter eggs. So they get a few Easter eggs and then they get a gift. 
I think that's a better way to go anyway. And then, you know, the next is that's basically it. On your birthday, you get some cake. Like, that's normal. These it's, It seems like every week at their house, it's some celebration of some event. Oh, it's National Pineapple Day. Better get 50 pounds of candy. Like, it's weird to me. Jelly beans. Jelly beans. Kyle. Where's my pineapple? Not the jelly beans. Oh, how cute. Get away from this garbage. Get away from it. Oh, they have tons of these. You don't need any more. Stop okay, touching if things. Look near me. I went to the Henrietta Walmart last week. It did not have it. The Victor Walmart does have it. Oh, you almost hit this guy, you oh, jerk. Oh, yeah, I hope you walk by and be like, look in your cart and they're like, and they whisper to their spouse. Oh my god. Our kids are gonna die. Here. You're no more candy. Got a lot of My beavers, do me a favor. Go through just the Valentine's Day candy, and I want to let's make a spreadsheet, a visual spreadsheet of every piece of candy they bought, and here, and let's put it in the caloric calories, what they eat in sugar, all the stuff that's in that stuff for each child, and then the price of it. And I'm gonna send you to Olive Garden or something. I'm not sure it would take any money, but I'm sending you somewhere. I'll, I will find your, I'm pretty sure I sent her some stuff before. I'm going to find your address and just send you a whole bunch of shit. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to send you a three pound Hershey bar. <laughs> oh, how cute would these be in a float? Bring back the oh. float challenge. Oh, the float challenge. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just what you need. Three pounds of chocolate, 400 pounds of sugar, and floats. I mean, they need liquid in there somewhere, I guess. You are a butt sniff -er. A Eleven, get a Eleven of them. Oh my God, I hate this person. They have any nerds. You don't need any nerds. Keep shopping for other things. Step away from all everything else. I hope the marshals come in and arrest her. Hi, oh, you're under arrest for what? Look at your cart. Ah, oh, you're right. It's like getting caught red-handed with fentanyl. Those are the exact same price as the dollar store. I'm sorry. Those are a penny less. Yeah, but that's Russell Stover. Actually, the dollar store was a dollar twenty-five. Dollar spat. Oh. Cute. No, they don't want that. That's gummy candies. Anyways, grab some nerds. And no, get out of there. Get out of here. Yeah, get the heck out of there. Get out of this aisle. I mean. This isn't even on our list, by the way. It's like three hundred dollars of the candy. So she spent like five hundred dollars just on candy for her kids for Valentine's Day. Five hundred dollars of candy. Where do they put it? What? Oh. That is. Where's that on the list? Where is it? Oh, she is on her list. Wow, I'm impressed. You are. Why is that on your list when you just bought it though? I mean, Valentine. You already got it. I gotta find that video. Where is the other? What's the Valentine's shopping video? Here it is. Valentine's Day. Mm, yell him time game. Yeah. I hate her like voiceover one. Mm, yell him time game. Pocket, yeah, 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 yeah. And she overdoes the words. Ugh. Dollar Tree haul for my eleven kids. I got them each a Valentine's themed plushie. Mm. Yeah, I think I got them each a Valentine's themed plushie. Smarties. M and M's. Oh. Warheads cube. These okay. truck shaped chocolate bars that say you pick me up. So they're big chocolate bars already. Eleven red buckets to put everything in. Heart shaped junior mints. Oh my gosh. I also found these heart shaped marshmallows that will be perfect on our Valentine's Day s'mores. Yeah, I'm tangy. <laughs> I got each of them a heart-shaped lollipop. You already bag. got some of those. And Tootsie Rolls, where the container doubles as a fun little change bank after you eat the candy. 
I got some meat and cheese sticks, and then I got 72 containers of chocolates for the kids to give their teachers. They have 72 teachers? Is there 72 teachers for 11 kids? I mean, maybe. 72 teachers? I mean, there's bus drivers. Okay, I'll allow it. Wow. Holy sh shite. And then I headed to check out. That's it for today. See you next time. Oh, what was the price on that? Darn it. I missed it. I don't care. That's what she... <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I bought 33 pans of chocolate <laughs> and 25 more bags of candy. Oh my gosh. And I don't think it's enough yet. Right. Holy crap. Just a heads up. Winter coats on clearance. Thanks. Winter's over. <laughs> no, it's not. Not get it out, for sure. We're going to have three, four months of winter left. If I don't get this rink up for at least one skate, I will consider myself a fair failure as a father. Okay? There's going to be one skate. We went skating today, and I had a lot. Of, I had these new skates. Okay, so I went to Canadian Tire. It's where we get skates, generally. And they have these things called K2s. And they're, I think they generally make ski boots and stuff like that. And these skates, they have this like, I, you know, the old school rollerblades have the clicking and you like the ratchet keeps it tight. I hate tying laces. Anyway, they had K2s and they look really comfortable. They're like for just leisure skating. They're not figure skates. They're not hockey skates. They're leisure skates. And they're really, really nice. The boot is nice, thick, warm. And I was like, oh, I don't like to spend 200 bucks on skates. I skate like twice a year. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found a, my exact size in a pair a guy said he wore once for 90 bucks on from 200. Bottom went skating today. I felt like a million dollars. I was skating around like I was like freaking the Rocket Richard. It was awesome. It's like, shh, watch him skate. I didn't even fall once. They have good winter coats here too. I bought Harley's. Shut your pie. She still wears this sometimes. Eating. Apparatus. Here's the bread. Yes. There is nothing in this shopping so far that would ever give them any sustenance. These kids are wondering why they're always hungry all the time, because they probably are, is because every calorie she feeds them is an empty calorie. Every single one of them. You guys want to like lose weight for reels reels. That's what I'm doing right now. I've already lost like five pounds. I got sick, but you really, really want to lose weight. The answer is obviously calorie deficit, but if you want to feel full, eat dense proteins and vegetables. Like if I eat a piece of chicken this big, I feel full for like seven hours, but I can eat a giant bag of Doritos too. The calorie is crazy on that. You just eat things that fill you up, like eat calorie rich foods that are like good for you. Like there's, there is no good calories in this food. It's all bad, empty. It's like air calories. My kids will be like, I'm not eating that. Your kids don't eat the food that you make anyway. Black spots on it. These are black spots on you. Medium burn. Out of bread last week, which is very weird for our family. No, you didn't. And bagels. We ran out of bread. Okay, that's enough bagels. Each kid can have a half. They don't need a full bagel. Fresh. Ew, your hands are so. <laughs> if she feel like if you touched her, she turned to sand. I know it's just like the char marks, but. You're a cheer char marked. Get away from those cosmic brownies. Keep walking. If she buys any more snacks, I'm going to literally call Joe Biden. Be like, look, buddy, I know you got a lot on your plate, and you're not going to remember this phone call. But Dr. Dozen is feeding her kids literally just poisonous garbage every day. Can you please do something about this? Put it in your next Senate hearing, something. I like this. Square sandwich loaf here at Walmart. You're a sandwich loaf. Oh my gosh. Okay. That chocolate is crazy. Holy shite, the bread. Bread from the freezer. So I'll get that out. 
You just said you ran out of bread, but you have bread in the freezer? Okay. What? What? Jiff. Guys, Kraft Green Lid peanut butter. I'm sad you don't have it, because it's like... Anybody Canadian in the comments? Comment on this. Kraft Green Lid Smooth Peanut Butter? Tell me it's not the best peanut butter on planet Earth. And if you say it's not, you're lying. And we're not friends. Like, it's just something about peanut it. Butter. It's nostalgic, too. We are nearly out of our four-pound thing of peanut butter. Let's see what we got. That's honestly, it's not even healthy, but that's the healthiest thing she's put in skirts so far. <laughs> I kid you not. Grape jelly? Does she even make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Because you can't take those to school. Um, giant thing of strawberry jelly. <laughs> No, you just need one. One's fine. One's fine! Uh, bread, some more bread. Bread and chocolate, bread candy, bread and sugar. Oh, more sugar! Where? Tuesday is National Croissant Day. Oh, see, it's National Croissant Day. We definitely have to feed our kids a bunch of candy okay. for Croissant Day. You make scrambled eggs, well, cheesy scrambled Give a shite. Oh, you don't need. Don't you dare. You better stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, Muffin Board Monday! I made 700 muffins for 11 kids! Nobody eats muffins. It's been a while since I've gotten store-bought muffins. Let's see. Let's do eight blueberry. Like if it was National Arsenic Day, would you feed your kids that too? Oh my god. Is there anything you're gonna put in this cart that won't kill them? Anything? Nothing? Cool, looks like poop. Oh. oh my god, look at this cart. How can you feel good about being a parent and literally loading this cart up and being like, yeah, good job, mom. <laughs> Peace out, A-Town. We're good. Like, and this is every week, if not multiple times a week. I could see this for like your Christmas haul. You know what? It's Christmas. Let's go. <laughs> right? This is every week. This whole cart that you see right here, there's absolutely the only, again, the only thing healthy in this cart is peanut butter, and that's not that healthy. And it's four pounds of peanut butter. Kurt, Right there, I just saw the soy sauce. I just saw it. Probably in the Asian aisle. Let's see. You're an Asian aisle. Okay, we're out of canned corn. I just ate them the last of it for lunch. You're a canned corn. Corn on the cob is superior. Are you really gonna eat eight cans of corn? Eight cans? Okay. And you're not also gonna eat that. That's good. Get your beans. I know here's 1,500 pounds of pasta. camera up there she's like shh, 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 shh. I would love to see behind the scenes of how she does this and how ridiculous she looks I just oh I know there's people out there who actually film the stuff and I don't want to encourage you to do that because that's really awkward and don't do it but like man I'd love to see it no written a roti like she looks so stupid Oh my 
gosh, the pasta. Mm -hmm. Dented cans, by the way, if you are prepping, don't do dented cans because they will make your food not last as long. That's what I've heard anyway. Ooh, a lot of these are dented. Okay, well, you're, okay. you're dented. Let's go. So again. Holy soy sauce, Batman! What are you doing with all that soy sauce? You only need a little bit of soy sauce. You know that, right? This, holy crap! I didn't know they sold those things in that size. Holy cow, Alicia! Like, oh my gosh! Just get a small one. Oh, here we go. Don't put spaghetti sauce on pizza. You put pizza sauce on pizza. Butthole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did she get more cheese? You better not have. Alright, <sighs> All right, let's go. I gotta, like, I can't. I'm getting diabetes watching this. Watch brownies. You stay away from the brownie mix, too. It's the way to go. Is it the way to go? How about the way to go is to not feed your kids all this stuff? I mean, once in a while, it's fine. But you feed it to them every day, it's all they eat. The teachers, like, how these kids, like, if she actually actually fed her kids an actual balanced diet, if her kids would, like, fare better, they wouldn't be so damn tired all the time. Like, these kids have, like, un I know that some of them are busy, they have, like, activities, but, like, they would be so much better off if they didn't eat this garbage every day. Cooking spray. You put that away. You don't need that stuff. Those kids ingest so much Pam, it's probably cancerous. Might as well just put it in a cup and drink it. Ooh, those ones with the shake and pour, that's cool. Mrs. Butterworths! I thought you weren't. I thought that was racist and she was gone. It's Or no, it was Aunt Jemima, I guess. Of course. Extra buttery. Mrs. Butterworths! Cody likes the little waffles with his syrup. Haha, see what she said there? <laughs> You think that's a flex? Bodhi likes to drink syrup. We get it. Your kids only eat garbage. That's your fault. Of course she'd blame them, right? It's all their fault. Gosh, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, you better load up on the tricks. It's a little change of pace. I posted a meme the other day, it was like a uh, like marketing meeting for tricks. Let's make a cereal that rabbits love, but they can't have any of it, those bastards. And three bubbles. Okay, let's go over to the snack aisle. Grab the snacks. Uh, excuse me? What do you mean the snack aisle? What do you need? You just bought 30 pounds of chocolate and like another 15 pounds of candy and you already the other day bought a bunch of candy. What snacks could you possibly need? If you yawned, hit like on this video. Subscribe too. Party size, party at the Dockery House. Come as a normal person, leave dead. Wow. It's unreal, man. The chips, the just ass amount of chips. So that card had some canned corn in it, so that's good. A couple of things of canned corn. Kurt, three! Coffee! <laughs> Coffee. Gosh. Oh. That stuff will make you fart. Yeah. You only need some. You only need one. Uh, what? She just did a video where they didn't eat the Oreo Yo Crunch. There was too many left, and she's buying more. 
Like, I think she doesn't realize. So she just, this is all compulsive. She doesn't even know what she's doing. She's lying right now, right? She's doing that to get comments. You don't need any more Yo Crunch. I'm just single M&M ones now. Okay, so they do, but they're these minis, and my kids don't like the minis. Oh, the small ones aren't good. That's what, I mean, that's a good start. Get the small ones. You butt crack. It's gonna. Oh, holy smokes! Just with any. Oh my gosh! Look at this car! Holy! So she doesn't care what they do. They look cute on a shirt, on a shirt board, on a shark cooter board. They're really nice. Bone ape tit. These poor kids, man. I don't care. It's like, I know we're snarky and we're funny and all this stuff, but this is actually a very, very heartbreaking stuff that she's doing. And you guys, people are like giving her props and they're like, oh my gosh, you're such a good mom. <laughs> no, you're not, man. No, you're not. Oh, I bet Bodhi needs more dino crackers. I'm sure he does. Well, he times. doesn't. If he knows I went to Walmart and get dino crackers, he'll be sad. No, he won't. He won't even know. These kids have an abundance of everything. They don't know. They don't care. I cannot leave this place. I'll get my kids some more, you know, sugar crack. Or they'll be angry with me. <laughs> I don't think these kids... When she always throws the kids on the bus like it's their fault she's buying these things. I don't think they give a crap. I don't think they say anything. I honestly don't think that they say anything. They have an abundance of everything. Three, he's got a three pound chocolate bar. You think he's going to care? He doesn't have a dino cracker? No, I don't see them here. Dunkaroos aren't what they used to be, by the way. Um, oh, I just remembered Zoe asked for cheese sticks. Okay, but well, you stay away from those bags of cheese. You have enough. Or if it's just for Zoe, 12 is enough. You don't need 40. Cool? Because you're going to be here in three days. Holy shnikes. See, she's like, for one kid, I'm going to get them 50 cheese strings. So they go bad. Can't even, like, okay, whatever. Whatever. What? Oh, now she's looking at prices. That's okay. Okay. Same price. Same price. Same. Just buy the cheese stick. Okay, she has 15 like boxes of mashed potatoes, but those Bob Evans are there are good. I'll give you that. I buy those too. And 18 of the ones with chocolate in them. It's Valentine's Day. She would be so, oh, thumb. She would be so much better off just like butchering a cow. I kid you not. It'd be healthier for the kids because it wouldn't be all full of hormones. You go to your local farmer and you say, give me a cow. Half a cow. It costs you a lot of money. Probably two, three thousand dollars. Full cow, probably three thousand dollars. I don't know, but you can they, if they just get one good deep freeze just for the meat, they wouldn't. She wouldn't have to ever touch the stuff. Of course not, yeah, because then she can't show her thumb to you. Oh, See, those prices are more like thirty bucks here. Stop, holy twenty-four ground beef. Why twenty-four? I don't want to go back and see why. I don't care. Right. I'm sure you'll tell me. Oh, here's Dairy. Neapolitana. Here's the microwavable poop. 
brown and brown. I call those brown and poop. Produce, and we're done. Oh my gosh, produce. The tiniest amount of produce. Here's a lettuce for you, one lettuce. No one's eating that. Of all the things she wastes the most is this. The stuff she wastes the most because they don't eat it. Do you know if you store those in a shallow bowl of water without undoing them, when that little stem part, put the little stem part in a bowl of water, just put that in, they'll last twice as long in your counter. So we're just buying not 40. That's what you could do too. I mean, but screw me, right? I'm an idiot. I'm a machaka! What are you doing? Get away from those. I wonder how much this was. Pull in where I don't have to reverse to get out. Does that make sense? No. So where I can just drive forward and get God, it's called a drive through parking spot. Dumbass. Oh, it's just easier with this giant van. <laughs> I swear. My beavers thinks that she got this van for free, and I, I wouldn't be surprised. But I think she has to show every time this for the van. I don't know. I don't know what it is. She should get it clean, though. It's gross. Why does she... She always breaks that. He's like... Ooh, little defrost gotta go on. <laughs> Shut up. One of the workers was able to help me load everything in, so I got it in really But I couldn't film it. Fast, and now I'm headed home. I had to do two transactions. I always have to do that at Walmart. It times me out after a certain amount. So I usually have, like, a bigger receipt and then a smaller receipt. I'm sorry, I don't have, like, a breath in my mouth. Good. Okay, thank you. Okay, I am home. Let me show you how everything fits in our van. It doesn't. You just, just throw it on the floor. Wonder when he was helping you load those chocolate bars if he silently judged you. He did. <laughs> Frickin the van of death. All full. I'm gonna go have those teenagers bring it all in. <laughs> Slippery. Okay, so here was the first receipt. That is always the big one. Holy. And finished. $977. Out with Three hundred eighty dollars? I'm not sure. One hundred fifty-eight. So a thousand, thousand over a thousand dollars. A week over a thousand, and then she'll go midweek and buy more stuff. That's insanity. I don't. I know there's eleven people, but I've been talking to like Heather from Just the Bells. I have conversations with her all the time because I'm always asking her like, "You have ten kids, and they're li and they probably eat as much, and they eat healthier and stuff like that." But I'm like, "How come you don't do this?" I've had a bunch of people reach out to me who have large families like this. They're like, "We're nothing like this." So the excuses that she has eleven kids is not. That's. I'm sorry. It doesn't. No. It doesn't add up. Obviously, you don't need 30 pounds of chocolate for your children. Transaction. Wow. What a gross I did Amazon, so he's- Oh, more candy! Hello, Panda Snacks. Those will be here Tuesday. All right, that is it. Did you have- Why did you have to show it? For this week's grocery vlog, thank you for coming- Your blog get lost. I don't like her. I think that's evident. Right? Are people, like, flabbergasted yet? Are you taking it? Are you seeing it? Have you seen how bad this is? Unfreaking believable. Okay, get wrecked. <laughs> Dummy. I cannot believe she gets away with this. This is crazy to me. Holy cow! Everybody, take a deep breath. You're gonna need it after that chocolate haul. That is, cr would you feed your child a four-year-old a three-pound chocolate bar? Or is that just me? I wouldn't do that. Is it just me? I mean, I'd feed a whole family for a month. It's crazy. Who out there does this? There's nobody else that does this.
I th and it's why she does it because she gets views on it. That's it. She just, it's, it's rage clicking people like, oh, I can't believe it. I have to watch. What does she do next? Crazy, stop watching her. Come watch it over here. Because you guys are amazing. And thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. Because you are swell. Right? Like some kind of something. Someone has a crush on you. Stay classy, protect your kids, and I will see you when I see you.